Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. Hi. Welcome to our Monday Live. Today we are going to be going over all things glitter. Glitter application, dry glitter application, and different types of glitters that we have in the Magpie line. So uh, my name is Sarah, and this is Rachel. Hi. And we are going to be teaching you a super fine application, a fine application. This one is holographic, so it's kind of like a two-in-one. Then we have a medium fine application, and this one is iridescent. We're going to teach you how to apply that best to get that incredible payoff. And then we have a chunky, which chunkies sometimes can get the better of people, but with a little bit of tips and tricks, it really does pay off to have chunky glitter. Like the look is just so fantastic. Yep. So we have chosen um, just four various glitters through the Magpie line. And you can find these here inside of the Magpie app, or if you visit magpiebeautyusa.com. All right, so getting started, we are going to start with fine, good super old, fine. Good old henna. Now super fine, these can be very effective. And the reason is because it's gonna give you this powdery, almost, I mean. Like chromey almost? Yeah, almost like a chrome payoff. The metallic hit is so good. And you can see how fine that powder is. It's gorgeous. And henna um, was released, I think last Christmas, wasn't it, with Peppa? Um, I, yeah, I think so. And the Peppa is a silver version. Henna is this gorgeous, I won't call it bronzy, champagne? Yeah. Yeah, champagne version. She is so beautiful. So she's going to be so good uh, at her to your collection for the fall, for the winter. New Year's nails with henna. Oh, that's going to be so pretty. Absolutely gorgeous. And that was like black and some nude and ooh, some white and like ooh. snowflakes. And I mean, really, like cute. people put champagne bottles on their nails or whatever. Yeah, this yeah, This would be yeah, so yeah. cute as yeah. the bubbles on top. Yeah. Come ooh. on. I have ideas. I want to mix that with some things. I have, yeah, I have ideas. Super pretty. Also, like henna designs, because super fine, you can do so many things. Yeah. You can mix this with some Gimme Strength and make a paint. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm going to show you how just to dab it onto the nail, but don't be afraid to make paints out of your glitter because, I mean, you can do really cool things with that that way. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to just apply this, though, Easy method is what we're teaching you today is easy application. So this is magpie nutmeg. Isn't it a beautiful color? This really was is. nutmeg was part of the mother, mother earth, earth collection. collection that was released earlier this year. Such a beautiful collection of muted tones and nutmeg is gorgeous. So using our magpie applicator, we love this brush because it has a really dense head, which means that, um, it doesn't hold on to glitter on the inside. And if by chance yours is years and years old like ours, and maybe a little bit of glitter gets down there, you just kind of give it a little flick. Or you can rub it onto your towel to get rid of the excess glitter so that you aren't mixing glitter from one to another. Because sometimes if we don't clean it out, you'll have like a red piece of glitter in in a blue application or whatnot. Yeah, so that, like one random bit that's the wrong shade. Right? And then you're like, shoot, dang it. Okay, anyway. So this still just has its tacky layer. This is two thin coats of nutmeg cured for 60 seconds each. And we are just going to pat this directly onto the tacky layer. This would be the easiest way to apply a super fine, a fine, or even a medium. So the colors that I showed you in the beginning, that would be, this is henna, this is super fine. And then you have faith, which is the fine. And then you have Astro, which is the medium fine. And all of these can be applied in this same manner mm -hmm. with success. Yep. Now, you can apply a chunky this way. It's just that you're going to have a lot of fallout. Uh, it's going to leave, it's going to brush off the fine glitter and leave behind the chunky, which means you're going to have it very patchy. So Rachel is going to teach us today how to apply a chunky glitter and get the most color payoff. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Once you have patted that onto the tacky layer, I just very gently, very gingerly brushed off any excess. Now you have a couple of options. You could put this into the lamp for 10 to 15 seconds. And what's that, what that is gonna do is the tacky layer is gonna get stickier and kind of suck down the loose glitter. So you can do that. Or if you feel confident, or maybe you don't have enough time, you're just going to brush off any excess and then you're gonna double coat this with gel. So in this case, I'm going to go through 
with Give Me Strength, which this is our multi-purpose gel. It has so many different uses. We love Give Me Strength. But in this case, I am going to encapsulate henna mm -hmm. and then give that a 60-second cure. And then I will follow it up with Top It Off, which is our no-wipe top coat. You can also go in with Like a Diamond um, as your finishing top coat. And that is, go is just going to seal everything in and your client would be ready to go. So I'm going to do that off camera while Rachel goes on to the next glitter application. Yeah. All right. Next up, we've got our good buddy Astra. There's just I love iridescent like glitters. This one. It's such a good iridescent. It has a very very punchy like gold and like a bright blue. There's even at the angle I'm looking at, there's like a little bit of orange. Um, so kind of just depends on what you put this over, what color it's going to turn out. So, um, I just have a, um, my swatch is, what do we have? We've got the new get a grip, give me strength combo. And this is in the color nougat. Nougat. So it's just like a light peachy nudie pink. So just very, very subtle color, but this is going to be very interesting to see what this color turns into once we... The reason why oh, I, I love iridescent glitters is because you get you get more payoff, I guess. Like, yeah. It's a really good value because when you put it over dark colors, like you were saying, yeah, it's a very it versatile color product. Versus like if you were to put this over a pink, it'd yeah. be a different shade. Yeah. And then over like a nude, yeah. it's going to even give this beautiful, dainty, delicate feel, which sure. I love. Yeah. I love that. Um, I am going to do a pour method with this. So she did a, um, like the padded method with the fine glitter. And then with this one, um, I want to get the chunky iridescent. Payoff. You want to, you want to have that shimmer to it? Yes. So I am just throwing on a quick layer of shine bright. You could use shine bright or get a grip or give me strength or just whatever wet. Yep. Clear gel. Um, mm -hmm. Clear gel and just throw it on there. And I'm going to um, just tap from up above. I'm not going to use a ton, but I do want to cover the nail fully. Oh, this is so pretty. It kind of makes it go like purple. Ooh. Wow. That is so cute. I love the coloring even behind it. Yes. And then with that golden blue purpley hue. I'm sorry. Haley Bieber nails who? Right? Like, this is what I want on my nails. 100%. That is so stunning. Like, this is going to be so pretty when I top coat it. But Now, how am I, if I were doing this, I guess my concern would be that it's going to be so pokey. Well, this is what I'm doing right now. Normally, I would have gloves on. But I, if there are any pieces that are kind of sticking up and poking out and your macro lens doesn't work on the app, but... Um, if there's any pieces that are sticking up and poking out, this doesn't normally happen with fine glitters. It's usually with the more chunky ones that it will, that it will tend to be an issue. Um, you just kind of go through and pat them down. Okay. Cause you're, it's still wet. So it's still movable. It's still malleable. You can still do whatever you want. But then that's not going to take away the look that we were going for because nope. you poured it. Yep. Okay. Yep. And, and then, then would very, I still have to double lightly. top coat? Um, I would. I would do kind of like you did with just like your gimme strength. Just kind of scrub a layer into that just so it fills any of wow. those gaps. Do that again. Go up close. <sighs> like, look at that. Wow. wow. Um, yeah, really. I would, I would really? fill in any of those gaps with like a gimme strength um, or shine bright and just kind of scrub it in those pockets in between all the pieces of glitter. Okay. Because um, when you do this, this is basically sugaring. Um, oh, so I could leave it naked like this. You could, you could, but I wouldn't cause it's more chunky. So it's going to feel really rough. Yep. Um, but if you did this with like henna, henna, you would have a sugared nail and you could just leave it like this and then just brush it off when you're cured. Beautiful. And done. Um, but this way, um, you just get a lot of dimension and you just get a, I don't know. You just get a very interesting effect. Beautiful. Yep. So Absolutely. I will cure that. And it really looks like diamonds camera. with that um, purpley blue hue. Really and then is. with that gold. Ooh. It's so stunning. With that, Absolutely. Pink, that pink underneath was a good idea. Absolutely gorgeous. So really the pouring method you could do with any glitter. Any, any glitter. It just depends on what the outcome is that yeah. you're wanting. Yeah. 
Got it. Um, okay, so I have applied my give me strength and my top it off. And now you can see that padded method. It's just like so smooth. So and smooth. And mm -hmm. shiny. That's just like your standard basic glitter application. Yep. And you can do this again with a super fine, with a fine, and then with Astro, which is your medium. You would be able to get this. Um, it's not burnished. It's just. No, just padded. Padded. Mm -hmm. Padded into the sticky layer. Yep. Gorgeous. Okay, next up we have Faith. Faith is a supercharged holographic. Supercharged versus a traditional hollow just means that the aura is stronger, that rainbow aura that you get. Um, I'm trying to catch it on camera so you can see it right here. Mm -hmm. We yeah, love a good. supercharged hollow. Actually, we love anything hollow. We love just glitter in general. Just glitter in general. <laughs> But Faith is our most popular supercharged hollow. She's absolutely gorgeous. And we are going to be putting her over a layer of Lilo Lil. Nope. Is that who you did? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah, good. good job. Yep. Good guess. Uh, which is this adorable summertime pinky purple. It does have a purple undertone. You can see that. Uh, just super cute. It feels a lot like a California pink. Very cute. Okay. So I am going to be burnishing this. Burnish means to rub. So instead of patting like I did the um, henna, I am gonna go through and I'm going to first initially pat so that I can get the glitter onto the tacky layer. Then I'm gonna wipe off any of the excess. No, I, I got it. I'm gonna wipe off any of the excess and then I will go through and I'm gonna rub it. And by rubbing a holographic glitter, it really just intensifies the aura. So, with a generous amount in my brush, I'm going to basically lay, instead of patting, I'm kind of literally just turning my bristles and just laying the glitter, a pretty good heavy layer onto the nail, just like that. And I'm gonna wipe off any of the excess that I have in my bristles. Then I'm gonna go through and, wow, take off the excess. Now we're at this at this step where it's beautiful, fantastic. This would be a padded kind of version. And mm -hmm. you could go through and put on your give me strength and your top it off or like a diamond if that was the top coat you preferred. Yeah. But instead, what I'm going to do is go through and lay all of the glitter pieces down. Wow. Okay. You can like so here's half and half. see that effect. Yep. Holy Half and half. So just That's by going so cool. through and rubbing in circular motions, it is laying the glitter flat, which changes the look 100%. That's so cool. And now you can see it's almost like a chrome. Wow. Where it's very flat. No extra pieces are sticking up. That is so cool. That was actually really sad. That, I always forget that it's so freaking cool. <laughs> that, that is so dang awesome like that. Now, because I've laid it all down and there are no pieces sticking up, no excess anywhere, you can go through and literally just keep rubbing off any pieces that you might think are loose. I could go through and just with my top it off or my like a diamond, top coat them and they, my client would be on their way. Or if you wanted to protect the glitter, you could go through with a layer of Give Me Strength and then your top coat of choice. Um, what would you suggest laying down if your gel polish isn't tacky before you do something like this? That is where what Rachel is going to show you in just a moment. If you don't, so not all, that's a great question actually. Not all gel polish is sticky. Sometimes they cure without a tacky layer and mm -hmm. that's just due to the pigment. Yeah. So if that happens to you, then you would mix it with a layer of Give Me Strength. Then you would apply it like a wet gel mm -hmm. and then you wouldn't be able to do like this particular burnishing it would be more it would turn out more like a padded glitter or you which, could go over with like a like give me strength oh yeah you could like that. Yeah. yeah and make a wet layer yeah yep you could a thin layer of if you're wanting even shine bright yeah. or if you're wanting strength. the burnished effect or if you don't care and you just want glitter on there and you just want to throw it on um like doing the pour over like i did with this guy like pouring it over, that is always my go-to if I don't have a sticky layer underneath. But yes. What did you put on this? Um, well, I put shine bright, <gasps> shine bright over wow. it. And it kind of turned it a little bit yellow, but I actually kind of dig it. No, I can see. It's like, gold. it's like it turned the uh, the nougat is what I can see behind it. Yeah. 
It's stunning. It's just so pretty. I did shine bright and top wow. off. So it's just a it's just a glittery little thing. Absolutely stunning. She's pretty. Gorgeous. Yep. Gorgeous. Okay. Anyways, that's where we were. Okay. Okay. I hope that that answered her question though. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I got sidetracked by your Okay. Glittering. <laughs> but how Your glitter is. effect. But uh, let us know if that helps, Tammy. Yes, please. Okay, so I'm just going to, in this case, I'm going to skip over my Give Me Strength and go directly to my top coat. Because I burnished it, because there are no loose pieces, I am just going to tempt fate and go right in with a top coat. Ooh, gorgeous. That's just stunning. Ooh, you it know really what would is. be pretty over that is the hollow top it off. Yes. That would be gorgeous. Yes. it. I, so I've tried that before where I did a holographic situation and then the, put the hollow top it off on top. And you can't see it like oh. in here. But when you go out into the sunlight, Ooh. then you have the different pieces of hollow because this yeah. would, this, even though it's fine, the top it off hollow is super uber fine yeah so then it's like little pieces of diamond yeah. on top of the yeah. holographic it's very effective. and i think it would it's just be a pretty. cool effect because this is you get that like aura or that linear holographic where it's all like in a pattern yep and then you put on the hollow top it off and it's like a scattered hollow gorgeous so you just get, like the multiple different effects of hollow that stunning this would be so cute it was very very pretty when i did it at first i was like oh it didn't work and then i went in the sun and you could just see the little diamond shimmering mm, gorgeous that's pretty absolutely gorgeous I that on my nails yep <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens when we do these lives. It's like, ooh, <laughs> ooh I, want that. That. I want to do that on my nails. Um, do that. All right. Last but not least, definitely not least. Uh -huh. is, um, also, this is from my favorite collection of all time. If you didn't know, if, you, if you're new to these um, lives or just our team in general, uh, I do say quite a lot that the Once Upon a Time collection is my favorite. Yes, your ultimate. It's ultimate favorite. Um, but I just love Isabella. I love this like purple that she is, but then you can see that like, I don't know, there's like a neon pink and there's like a bright turquoise mm -hmm. that it flashes depending mm -hmm. on the light. And there's just so many different colors in this. I think it's just absolutely stunning, but it does have multiple different sizes of glitter in it. So this is a good example of- Can I pour some on my glove? This is a good example of something too. Kind of. So if I spread this out, you can see that there are multiple sizes of glitter in here. Mm -hmm. Not only of there's multiple sizes of the chunky, yeah. but then there's a fine. There's also a super fine floating through here. Like yeah. over here is a super fine. Yeah. Then we have a fine. Then we have a medium, which is right there. Then we have a chunky, which is right there. Yeah. So you get a little bit of everything in this one. But some people who aren't as um, comfortable or familiar with applying loose glitters or mixing um, can be a little intimidated by this. So I'm gonna give you just uh, just a little, some, some tips and tricks. So I'm going to mix this. I'm going to make my own gel. Um, and this has henna in it from her application earlier. So we're just gonna ignore the That's okay. <laughs> bronze glitter in here. Those are, I mean, those are things you it's won't fine. see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm just taking a little dab on my palette of Gimme Strength. I actually might want Which, a little more than that. While you're dabbing that on, it is a good idea to have a give me strength that is for glitter only. For glitter only. Because in this case where you have just a tiny bit of henna in there, yeah. um, it won't matter when you're putting that with more glitter. But yeah. if you were to put that over like straight over a straight a over her June bug, yeah. then you would have just this shimmer. random patches of glitter. Yeah. And if that's not what your client is going for, mm, perhaps that's not the one for you. Yep. So have a give me strength that is specific yeah um and i'm just tapping some isabella in there and this is probably i would say like a one-to-one -one ratio oh thank you you're wow. very welcome wow that's not even like hard as a rock no, i'm proud no, I of love you it. thank you <laughs> and i'm just gonna mix this all together and uh, katie Plum, can you show us how you do a fade with a loose glitter absolutely, Ooh, absolutely. um yeah. You so could even do it that. with this one. Yeah. I'll show you wet and then we'll do a dry one because that's so fast. That one's just an easy little thing. Um, I am going to put this over the same color, that Lilo Lil, and I'm just going to use, I mean, it doesn't really matter how much you have on your brush if you're doing the whole nail, but um, we're going to do a little fade first so I can show you how to do that. 
Um, when I'm doing chunky glitter fades, this is exactly how I do it. I will just mix a little bit and then I apply mostly at whatever end I am wanting my bulk, wanting the majority of the product. Would you like two swatches, one to do a full application and then one to do a uh, dry fade? No, it's okay. Oh, okay. well, I mean, we've got this guy over here. Okay. Or yeah, we could do that. <laughs> You've already got it painted, might as well. Yep. All right. And then, oh, I have lint in my brush. Hold please. And then we're just gonna take whatever is on the nail and just lightly kind of drag it down. Depends on how, how far you want your product to go down the nail, how much you want on the nail to start with. But Dang it, just, that's pretty. Just want a little bit, just a little fade. And then this is where I just kind of use whatever is left on my brush and just fill in any gaps. So pretty. And I'm a little bit close to the lamp, so I'm trying not to, oh, sorry, I'm not even in camera. Trying not to cure my brush while she had the lamp on. <laughs> All right, and that is how I would do a, just a uh, glitter fade with a chunky while it's wet. Um, now I'm going to go back over the whole thing with my glitter. And we're going to do just a full nail of this. And I didn't mix enough because these, well, maybe I did. These swatches are huge. So you kind of have to take into account how much space you want to be fully covered in glitter when you're mixing a ratio like I did. Um, I definitely did not mix enough if I were to do like a full set. I just mixed enough for like a couple of nails or maybe one nail. Rachel is definitely not a waster, whereas I am. That palette would have had so much glitter on it. I try not to waste. <laughs> Rachel I, does a very good job I, uh, at not wasting. I, because I am also the worst and I never clean off my palettes. Like my, my desk is full of palettes that are covered in glitter. So it's not, I'm done just oh, it's not that I, it's not that I, you there know, you mix a tiny bit. It's just that I never use all that I mix anyways. I gotcha. So we just let it cure over time. That's it's funny. Fine. It's so pretty. It really is. And I really like it with that little little behind it. Right? It's just so pretty. It kind of yeah. brings out just different colors. Absolutely. You are like far too close to me with that lamp. There you go. <laughs> okay. And you could go in and you could really get in there and fill in every single gap if you're worried about it. Um, but I like the way that that pink shows through, so I'm just going to leave it. But that is a, that is a full nail wet chunky application. Gorgeous. Now, just for the fun of it, I did make an extra swatch to show you that you could. So this is just the tacky layer. This is two coats of Lilo Lil. And then I cured it for a full 60 seconds between each color. Now I'm just going to tap this, basically pour this glitter on here. Mm -hmm. And if I wanted a full coverage, I just wanted to show you that sometimes it is better to make a glitter gel because even though I keep pouring and pouring and pouring and pouring and pouring because I want this to be full. And I'm just going to, there we go. And then I could tap off the excess. Now, if I go through and brush this, I'm going to lose. Can you see already? You're going to lose the chunky. You're going to lose the chunky and only leave behind the fine. And you're going to kind of lose that effect. So in this case, that's just not quite as awesome as this is so making a glitter gel is better when you're doing a chunky mm -hmm. now you could like what rachel did when she did astra she did it into the wet layer you, you could, could pour, pour into a wet layer and then double cure and yeah. then 
you would be able to take off the excess. But the trick with that is, is you have to be very careful to lay down all of the pieces that are sticking straight up. Because it's a, it's a painstaking process. It is because if not, then you will have to sometimes triple top coat and then you'll have a thicker nail than you wanted to end up with mm -hmm. because you had a piece that was sticking straight up and yeah. it's just not ideal. So I just wanted to show you that we're trying to give you all of the tips and tricks so that you don't have to learn the hard way and have like maybe something you didn't yeah. want versus you wanted more of the chunky in there. And we don't want you to hate chunky glitter. No, chunky glitter is great. You just have to follow it's, a couple of rules. Yeah, and it's, it's so much fun and there it really is kind of like a um, just like a learning process when yes. you start using it if you're not comfortable with it. You just play around with it, mix it with some gel. Yes. I don't know, double top coat and, maybe and then give it's it okay. a little buff if you need to, but um, I feel like there's there's really no like wrong way to play with glitter. No, I don't. I agree with you. I think that that there are great ways to get your yeah, application. Absolutely. Okay, really quickly is that we were going to show you a dry fade. So I'm going to fade. Here's two coats of Lila Lil, and just with the tiniest bit on my bristles. I don't have a full bristle like I did when I did a full application. Just a tiny bit. I'm going to pat this at the top. This would be near the epinicium. Of course, you could do this at the free edge, but I'm going to, maybe just a little bit more, I'm just going to heavy put some at the top. Then I'm gonna kind of take off the bulk, but I want just a little bit left on my bristles because I'm gonna fling this down this way. And this is laying the glitters flat. And because we have some here, I'm gonna pick up, but you would go back into your bottle, but I'm just gonna pick them up here and there, is a way to get a quick and easy fade using a dry glitter. And then you could go through and using say an orange wood stick, which I will grab. Me, myself and I use our fingers. Yes, unless you're allergic like me and then you wouldn't. And I'm just gonna push these glitters up here where I want them so that they're not sitting at the bottom because that's not where I wanted them. Push this guy back up in here. And there we go. Now we have a dry glitter fade and you would just make sure everything is laid down like you wanted. And then you could go through with your give me strength and then you top it off. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. Easy. Easy. Easy peasy. So if you didn't want to make a glitter gel to make a fade, that's how you would do it. Mm -hmm. Excellent. But that is a great way to do um, glitter fades with different sizes of glitter. Yeah, you can well. do or that particular method with any. With any, any size, any yep. combination. Absolutely. Yeah. Excellent. Our, All right, everybody. We hope that we hope that this helped you with your glitter application, make your life a little bit easier, um, and hoping that you learned a new technique that you could do for your clients. It, it definitely gives you a different effect, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. It really does. I think still this one and this one are my favorites. Absolutely. Just of because all time. just because like just the effect that it has of that like super punchy hollow. And, and this, I kind of want to like, so I want to like touch it, even though you can't touch it. It makes there's, me want to, there's so like, much dimension in there. Mm -hmm. It looks like it's textured, but yep. it's not, it's not, it's just pretty. Yep. Absolutely gorgeous. Yep. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. And until next time, have a good week. Bye. Bye.